Hello and welcome back for another Pixel Maven project tutorial. This one is featuring a trend that I'm seeing out on the internet that is just a simple card with lots of gold embossing. And I've seen quite a few examples of this. I've got some over on the blog post today that show you all about what these look like. And the great thing I love about this is that it's quick and simple, but it really does pack a really wow punch. So we will dive right into this one without any further ado. All right, this card comes together so quickly, it's going to be over before you know it. So I'm using the Wallpaper Art Stamp Set from Alta New, and I love this because it's got some detail on the flowers, but not too much detail, so that gold can really shine through, and you get some extra thickness in the gold, especially using some of the leaf pieces that are completely solid. So I'm using that along with this Lavender Fields cardstock from Alta New, and it is a thinner cardstock, but it has some really great texture to it, and it works really well for this technique. I'm also using the Antique Gold Pigment Ink from Alta New. And of course I've shared with you before that I love to use pigment inks when I'm embossing, especially if I can get the same color or close to the same color because it helps cover up places where you may not have gotten good embossing. Plus it also just really gives you some extra I don't know what, je ne sais quoi I guess, um, when I'm using that with the gold embossing powder. So I have my large uh, stamp positioner already set up and you can see here that I've got all of my flower stamps already in place. And I had to use the large one because it's going to, the pieces are going to fall off the card. So I've got, I know exactly where my card needs to go because I already stamped the sample and I'm using my Sizzix sticky sheets. So that really helps me to line that up in place here and now I don't even have to use any magnets. Of course I need to remember to use some uh, anti-static powder. This is critical of course. And then, I mean seriously, I'm just going right into stamping. So I don't have to go all the way to the edges, I just kind of need to know where it's going to end for the card. And of course, using the stamp positioner, if I don't get it quite right the first time, I can always restamp and get any areas that I may have missed. So I want to give this a really good press. And maybe even use the heel of my hand to make sure that I get that on there really good. All right. You can see I missed a little spot here. So let's see if I can grab it. Here we go. And if I want to now, I can still add a little bit more. Of course, the embossing powder is going to stick to that, so I'm not too concerned about it. But if I can get good coverage with the ink, that really helps make sure that the embossing powder covers everywhere as well. That's really good. So I've got that. And then I also have my sentiment. I'm using the congratulations from the same stamp set and of course you could use any number of small sentiments. And I'm going to use that same gold. And I just have this on a block. And there we go. So now both of these are ready to be embossed and heat set. Alright, so seriously this is Basically all there is to putting this card together. I've got the two pieces and I'm going to add just a little bit of embellishment as we go. But we are ready for assembly. So I've got my card base here and it's already scored. So I'm just going to attach this right onto the card base. Super simple. And remember this paper is a little bit thinner. Um, the nice thing I guess is that it's not going to really add any bulk to the card. Um, it's almost like regular paper. I mean look at how thin that is. But it really is a pretty color. I love how it looks with the gold. I mean you know, copper had its time in the limelight but I think gold is back. Right, so I've got that nice and adhered on there. And then for the congratulations, I want to just add some little flag ends. 
And so I'm just going to go on the back side here and I mark it in. This is just a three inch piece, so I'm just going to mark this in um, about a quarter inch on both sides. And then I just make sure that I'm down to the center. And I know exactly where that is. And then I'm just going to take my paper snips and snip from the corner into where that meets. So, of course, you saw I just did that on the back. And well, that's because we don't want any pencil marks to end up showing. So if you don't have a punch or something that will give you flagged ends, that's how I do it. And I think it's pretty easy, um, pretty straightforward. I generally tend to do that over using a punch because I don't have to worry about pulling out a punch for that. All right, so I'm just going to pop on some double-sided adhesive foam here because I'm going to add some more gold to this. I think the key here is gold, gold, gold. Everything is gold. And so I've just got some metallic thread, a couple of rounds around my finger, and of course this stuff just breaks right off. And then I just kind of spread it across, and that'll give me a really nice swirls as I fling it all over the place. All right, and I just tuck those guys underneath. Now, of course, you could go this way with it if you wanted to, or you can go this way. Either way will work. You just make sure that you get everything squared up. There we go. And if you wanted to add even more bling, you can pull out some sequins. <laughs> Let me get the right glue. If you use the Tombow glue, it doesn't really dry hard. It always ends up being just a little mushy. So I like to use a glue that's kind of designed for putting things like that on. All right, so I love these Catherine Pooler sequins because it's got the big chunky ones in there. And I guess we could just do a little dot. All right. So there we go. I mean, really, you can't get any more simple than that. These come together so nicely. And now that I've got my stamp positioner set up, I could just go ahead and stamp a whole bunch of these and make a whole series. I hope you enjoyed today's project and that you subscribe to my channel so you can catch more of this crafty goodness that comes your way each week. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you again soon for another project tutorial. But until next time, happy crafting.